Mad Dreams and Monsters, The Art of Phil Tippett and Tippett Studios, or The Greatest Coffee Table Book in the World. Hi, thank you for tuning in to the Tom Patelson Show. Yeah, I bought this. Mad Dreams and Monsters, The Art of Phil Tippett and Tippett Studios. My goodness, it is a fantastic book and a beast. Adam Savage had featured this on his channel, Tested, and I wanted to buy it ever since he showed it. Um, but it's a book that's over $100. There's 527 pages in this book. It weighs just about 10 pounds. It is a real beast. It is, it is, a, it is enormous and huge. It has a great cover on it that opens up to fantastic artwork and brilliant, let's get to it, oh my goodness. And a brilliant picture of RoboCop on that page right there. This thing is huge and amazing and I love it. And Adam Savage posted that it was going on sale on Amazon. Buy it now for however much it was. And I was like, done deal. I think I got it for just over, right around 50 bucks. Um, my, my goodness, it is a wonderful book and a fantastic gift if you're really going to give somebody this book. The description of what this book is is usually on the back. There's a, where the QR code normally goes on this back cover. I've been using it as a, as a placeholder, a uh, bookmark placeholder, as a bookmark. Let me read what the bookmark says on the back of the book so you know what we're talking about here. This comprehensive, authorized, respective explores the creature design, character animation, and stop-motion magic of Oscar-winning visual effects master Phil Tippett, founder and namesake of the acclaimed Tippett Studio in the San Francisco Bay Area. From the original Star Wars trilogy to Robocop and Jurassic Park to The Mandalorian, special effects maestro brought his magic to some of the most iconic films of all time. Yeah, and it's all over this book. It is all over it. To give you an idea of what he worked on, he worked on Star Wars Episode 4, 5, and 6, Dragon Slayer, Indiana Jones, and the Temple of Doom, The Golden Child, Robocop, Willow, Dragon Heart, Ghostbusters, Jurassic Park, Starship Troopers, Hellboy, just to name a few. Oh, this book really is a delight to flip through. And it is a true coffee table book because you can't bring this anywhere else. There's no throwing this in your backpack and hanging out at the coffee shop. I mean, you could if you lift some weights, but my goodness, this is a heavy, thick, giant thing. Uh, some of my favorite things in here, uh, in addition to being just wonderful pictures from the movies and of the artwork and of the creatures that he built, there are dailies screening uh, reports in the very opening credits there. That's the call sheet for Blue Harvest, which was the nickname for Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Uh, oh my God, this is so great. One of my favorite pictures in here is the armature of the Tauntaun. And it, you can see it's, it's on a legal pad. Like he's sitting in his office. He's like, well, I gotta draw this thing, this creature I'm gonna go ahead and work on. I'll just take this legal pad and flip it on its side and just start drawing with a pencil. And that becomes one of our most cherished things from Empire Strikes Back, the Tauntaun scene. I can't imagine what it is to be in this industry and have a director, a producer, a writer, someone come to you and say, there's a monster in this scene and it's only on paper, it's never been seen, it doesn't exist, but we need you to create it, make it look like it really exists and make it move realistically. I don't know how you do that. I'm fascinated by that, given a challenge like that and to come up with the creatures, machines and objects that this man and his studio has done, and it's all in this giant 527-page book. It is so nice to look at. This is nerdtastic. This is nerdtastic. This is nerd power. I know I talk about nerd power a lot, but this is absolutely nerd power. Um, it's fun to look at. This has become kind of a morning ritual because I don't want to go all the way through it. I only want to flip to bits and pieces. You know, I, I've, I've not even been to this back of the book. Did well, oh, geez. When I get to the Ghostbusters 2 section, which I just now opened, which I've not looked at at all. Ghostbusters 2, stop it. Oh my God. 
This is just a nerdtastic fun book to look at. And of course, oh, it's got Starship Troopers because he worked on Starship Troopers. And my one of my videos coming out soon is going to be about Starship Troopers, the book versus the movie. And that first Starship Troopers with all of its bug monsters and I, it, the anime, it's so great. It is such a wonderful nerd-like film. But as far as this thing goes, if you can get this thing, if this thing goes on sale, look for it. When Adam Savage told me about it, I put it in my Amazon wish list and just kept it there. Thinking to myself, well, maybe one day I'll buy myself a present give myself a treat, mention it to someone that I want this, because it's hefty and it's over a hundred bucks. So when they knocked it down to 43 or whatever I paid for this, oh, this is so, this is so much money well spent. This is a fantastic thing. I say fantastic a lot on the show. I know, it's my word. I kind of feel the same way about this as I did when I got Captain's Log. When I got Star Trek Captain's Log, the solo role-playing game, I thought, what a good book to have and to own a good nerd piece of artifact. And this might make its way to the shelf. I don't know if it'll fit though. I don't think it'll fit over there. Is it gonna fit? No, it will not fit. So I'll have to put it someplace else. It won't make its way to the shelf unless it's gonna go on the top. But when I get a good nerd book that I can just sit down and look at and geek out on the things that I love, this is yet another thing which brings me joy. Let's put it back in its case. Jeez. Mad Dreams and Monsters. Oh, that's from Robocop 2. That's Kane. That's the robot Kane, which is a, 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 fan, oh, a fantastic. I'm going to say fantastic again. I told you I say fantastic a lot. Oh, my goodness. Let's get, let's get the stand back for this bad boy so I can put it back up. Right. Oh, seriously. If you've got the money to do it, if you've got the money to spend, or you've got a loved one, or you know love stuff like this, go out and get this book. I can't recommend it enough. Mad Dreams and Monsters. What a fantastic object. Thanks for tuning in and my review of Mad Dreams and Monsters, The Art of Phil Tippett and Tippett Studios. Thanks for joining me in this nerdtastic nerddom of nerd power. Yeah, thanks for geeking out with me. If you found me on other social media, if you found me on Instagram or on TikTok, on TikTok, I go live on TikTok at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Tuesdays, unless something happens. But usually I'm there for one hour from 10 to 11 Pacific Standard to nerd out, to talk about movies. If you want to come see me live, come see me there. I'll start posting my lives here as soon as I hit to 1,000 subscribers, which should be coming up soon. Like and subscribe, tell your friends about my show, and I'd love to have you with me. I'd love to hear you talk, I'd love to hear you geek out, I'd love to hear what you're nerding out about, and i love to engage with that. It's really, it's, it's been a wonderful part of my life now that I've just started opening up to the camera and telling people what I think is fun and what brings me joy. Thank you again for joining me, as always. Till I see you next time. Peace, love, live long, and prosper. And I mean it.